really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but... Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Okay. Lucius. We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman. Lucius. Puta merda, não acredito, não acredito. Não creio, cara. Não. One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany, I'm gonna take care of your family as if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this, is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham, and that's why he has to be stopped. As long as he is stopped. Of course, It won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Lamentável essa legenda, lamentável. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Hardly anything left.
What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. All be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either... Hey, hey, how about giving Tiffany some space? Huh? Bruce! <laughs> Buddy! It's good to see you. Come on, man, she's been through a lot. You're absolutely right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the genes uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see? People get upset at the littlest things. <sighs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. I'm sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. 
I didn't agree to that. But you did help me out. Friends look out for each other. Am I right? He's gone. A vital link in our chain has left us. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Put that away. This is a funeral, for God's sake. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're going to hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Leave his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I already said I mean your friends, John. Now tell me what you know. Jeez. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later. Like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. No.
Nossa, que episódio é esse, cara? Enjoying the view. Uh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier. But when places like Wayne Towers start falling apart, makes you wonder what's next. Uh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Yeah, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. And the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this leap pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. She puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. We all need to draw a line somewhere. It's what separates us from the scum we're trying to catch. I'm glad to hear you say that. The thing with Waller is her line's real blurry. Sometimes you can't see it at all. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knock. I kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Damn it! It's... it's stuck! 
open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. Give me a good, honest crack house any day. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. One of his pupils is fully dilated. The other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock, or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. What? One shoe, melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. There's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Won't budge. It must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? The glass. It's polarized. So it is. The 
floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. The agent must have been looking for the answer at one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Maury, he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Maury for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Uh, just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. 
Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. This door were closed. The portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. Agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Jim. Well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Heat's rising, Batman. Make out a man. 
message. It's like a goddamn oven. One won't see trouble and one tells no lies. Ask the third if he hides the prize. The monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Now, oh, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. What the hell? Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Quem não vê problemas, a mentira não compensa. Pergunte ao terceiro se ele esconde a recompensa. Para quem não vê, a mentira não compensa. Pergunte ao terceiro se ele recompensa. Eu acho que é o que não fala. my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. The signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Mori sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up before going dark forever. 
Why are you doing this, Riddler? Haven't you killed enough? I have a lot of enemies, Batman. While they're still breathing, I still have work to do. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Whatever the Agency is, you are worse. You're the one torturing and killing innocents. You think any of these agents are innocent? The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure. But she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox... And the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... I doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? You are your own man, Jim. You'll come to your own decision. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you, you can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. Oh, to hell with it. I never heard what I heard in there. All right? Batman. I'm sorry for your loss.
Caraca, já são dois personagens que a minha relação mudou. Porque eu escolhi falar a verdade. A verdade tem um preço alto. I heard your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are were allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce, but he's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a launch signal. Dear God! You did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. With Lucius gone, we need to find someone to take over his role. No one could ever fill his shoes. But, but you're right. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, it's clear we're up against a new class of criminal. This war of ours, it may be too much for us on our own. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just... walk through it. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. Broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. You are a rock, Alfred. I'm always able to count on you, huh? Even in the toughest times. The last thing I want to do is let you down. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have watched this. I'll... Uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce.
All right. Now we just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. Dwayne? Batman? No. The two sounds have to be the same. Tiffany? Bruce? Tower? Enterprises? Bruce! Bruce? The waveforms match. The Sable... Riddler... Tiffany... Tiffany... That's a match. There. I've piggybacked onto Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating a launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Mori's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. É massa usar o Batman para fazer trabalho de detetive, eu acho foda. Mas o custo de como Batman é diminuir, é, é ficar ainda pior a relação com Gordon. E o custo de ir como Bruce Wayne é fazer com que aquela psicóloga que eu ainda acho que vai virar Arlequina desconfiar ainda mais do Bruce. I'll meet with Mori. I'm sure Bruce Wayne can find a way to reason with him. Eu acho que vai ser mais desafiador como Bruce Wayne.
Waller's people are here, watching Mori. Riddler's agency data should make him easy to tag. I need you to keep an eye on him for me. Maybe cause a distraction if I need it. They're following his every move. Gotta be careful here. All this attention must be annoying to a man like Mori. I see them. All of these agents were on Riddler's list. Even without access to their phones, he'll still try to kill them all somehow. Do whatever it takes to find him, Bruce. I never want to see another video like the one with Lucius. No time to waste. Mr. Wayne, to what do we owe this honor? Good evening, Mr. Mori. I've come to talk. Your visit is unexpected, Mr. Wayne. What can I do for you? A private matter between friends. We have a mutual enemy, Mori. He can't go unchecked. Men like you and I have many enemies, Mr. Wayne. I am sure we share more than one. You know the one I mean. The authorities are watching my every move. Apparently, I'm a person of interest. There's really not much I can offer you other than a drink and a seat at the roulette wheel. Not while I'm being shadowed. We need privacy. Lose the agents. Done. They just got an order to sweep the perimeter. Should give you a couple of minutes at least. Impressive, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface. What can I do for you? Information. About the Riddler. Why would I do that? You're on his list, Maury. He's gonna hit you with the same weapons you sold him. You and a lot of other people. I dealt with that maniac, it's true. But I was done after the first delivery. Riddler wanted more. Everything he could get his hands on. He even wanted me to hand over one of my biotech companies. I said no. That's why he attacked you? You have no idea how crazy he is. I only wish I had known it sooner. Actually, I have a pretty good idea. I see that you do. He scared me. I was afraid he'd use my goods in the city. After the explosion at Wayne Enterprises, it turns out I was right. I want you to know, I had no idea the Riddler had marked you as a target. I knew your father, back when he was running Gotham. Our interests often aligned. I would never dishonor his memory. He was a friend. Truly one of a kind. My father was a criminal, Mr. Mori. I didn't follow in his footsteps. And yet yours led you here. To a backroom meet out of earshot of the authorities. I can help you find the Riddler, Mr. Wayne. I sold him the missile array he's using to pick off his enemies. He won't be very far from it. Everything you need to find him is on that drive. But I need a favor from you first. A favor? Walla has me detained here pending Riddler's trial. She controls all my accounts. I need to get out of the country, and in all haste. You can help with that. Otherwise, I fear my fate is a short, miserable life in a black prison. Somewhere deeply unpleasant. I could do that for you. I knew I could count on your friendship. A chartered plane waits for me at the airport. The pilot will fly me to a safe haven in the Caribbean for the right price. All you have to do is authorize a transfer. You don't want me as an enemy, Mr. Wayne. 
Our agency friends will be back any second. Let's handle this quickly and without disturbance. Everyone gets what they want. Done. Send me a postcard from the beach. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. I owe you a great debt. If this ever comes to light, I'll keep your name out of it for as long as I can. Thank you. Be careful, Mr. Wayne. That lunatic is not to be trifled with. Now, I suggest you make yourself scarce before our agency friends return. Alfred, I've sent you Maury's information. Find me Riddler's location, and fast. The Lady of Dublin. Which is? A cargo ship in Gotham Bay. Good. Send me the location. And let Gordon know. Tell him Batman's on the way. Yeah. Decisões difíceis, uma atrás da outra, uma mais difícil que a outra. Armed men on board. This must be it. Be careful, Bruce. Who knows what the Riddler has up his sleeve? See what's gonna happen. My friends will all be here soon. Then you'll see what this is all in aid of. You we found him. Seals, really thought you could Moria's information you turned out to be accurate. So no sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. All your idiot colleagues, too. Then it's hard to blame hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. The agency has a history of. Terrible decisions. A Your good spot for cover. My heels far too long. I'll get you. You're relentless. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge on your predecessors. Even if you're really just a small part of my plan. What are you talking about? Wait You'll for see what it. I mean soon, of course. They might be angry. Don't want him raising an alarm. But I'll they move understand what he why is looking. they'll recognize my brilliance. After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. It's often a struggle making people see that. You think? You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smart. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Sized vermin. Batman. Batman. Agent Avesta. The floor. It's heating up. <sighs> Thanks, Batman. Hi. Caraca, que isso? 
Are you all right? Oh, tu não acredito. Oh God, not more. He's wearing something that neutralizes the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Mori was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! It's me you want, not Agent Avesta. Let her go! Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. You can handle the sonic blasts, but her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure, kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. Riddler, I swear. I will make you suffer for this soul. That's not very clever of you, Batman. Dead wrong. No, please! That wasn't his answer! Avesta, please! Please! Puta merda, não... Blake! Puta oh my God. merda, Blake. cara. Eu achei que eu ia ter uma chance antes de responder. Number two. Meu also, Deus. completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. I need an answer. Just say it. Or click, click, click! Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! <laughs> Here's your prize! Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. I'll fire one of the missiles.
Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. And use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. Question time is over. What are you doing? You think you're clever, don't you? You... you... Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! Nossa! Caramba! Eu nunca vi um charada tão perigoso igual esse. Nunca vi. Só nos, nos jogos do Arcanite. Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my colleagues are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. We only made things worse. You can't punish yourself for their loss. None of this is your fault. Thank you, Batman. Despite the cost, at least we've got Riddler in custody. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Is this really a victory for you, Batman? You're the one in cuffs. Yeah, but you're the one that broke your precious rules. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. I wouldn't know what to say either. 
push the Batman to his limits. Tested his precious code. Uh, and my comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They betrayed me. They didn't come. I look forward to meeting these friends of yours. They're next on my list. Good. They deserve it. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, god damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. You don't have to worry, Jim. I'll take the heat for this. I appreciate the thought, but that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this ship. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Blake is dead. Riddler is dead, and I don't know exactly how, but I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Maury got out of Gotham all by himself. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham, effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to deputy ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Don't like it? Go cry to the governor. I generously let this cowboy crap with the Batman go on out of respect. Now wait a damn... Gordon's been fighting the good fight for years. You're delusional if you think you can solve all our problems. You're the ones who are deluded. You're so busy gazing into each other's eyes, you can't see the big picture. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former aye. psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. Aye. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. 
He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Puta que pariu, não creio, meu Deus, eu tô sem palavras. Caraca, gente, tá muito foda as escolhas da galera. Eu tô vendo que olha como tá difícil. Rapaz, como foi dividido, não foi fácil. Olha isso. Eu tô muito empolgado pelo episódio 2. Muito. Caramba. Então é isso. Volto. No próximo vídeo com The Witcher ou alguma outra coisa, aguardando ansiosamente o episódio 2 da segunda temporada. Cara, como essa segunda temporada começou foda, muito, muito foda. Valeu, um abraço e até o próximo vídeo.